This type of simplification pops up all the time on the SAT. Here we divide by 3 to solve directly for x squared minus 6x. Here we divide by 6 to solve directly for x plus 6. And here we can vastly simplify our problem by dividing every term by 20 to get 1 over p equals 1 over q minus 1 over r minus 1 over s. In fact, this last question is surprisingly easy to do in your head. Once you've slashed the 20s and isolated 1 over Q, the answer is kind of obvious if you know a thing or two about adding fractions. We're clearly going to need a common denominator here to combine these fractions, which will be P times R times S. And once that's done, what we'll get will be some thing over PRS equals 1 over Q. Now we just flip the fractions to get PRS over that thing. And that's answer C. I guarantee you the top 1% of test takers see it. They see it because they had good teachers or helpful parents or private tutors who drilled it into them from a young enough age that these sorts of algebraic manipulations just make sense. Which raises the question, what should you actually do to improve?